So it's 2022, yet another year of crazy hot toys collecting forthcoming. So how are we gonna start this year? Let's start it with this. The Hot Toys Boba Fett Deluxe Twin Pack. Welcome to Mando Collectibles. So I could not have thought of a better way to start 2022 figure collecting but with these bad boys and this is of course TMS 034 this is the Boba Fett Deluxe Twin Pack so let's firstly take a look at the box and first and foremost the two main characters on the front of the box which is Boba Fett in his Tuscan Raider outfit and then of course the distressed armour look and I have to say Hot Toys you have done yourself proud. That Tamora Morrison head sculpt is the best head sculpt I have ever seen. It's just like the real person. It's untrue how good that looks. So we'll pan to the side. And there you can see on the beginning of the band at the bottom, we have the head sculpt actually on the distressed armor, which looks absolutely cool also. But uh, I think I'll be keeping him on the Tuscan Raider body. And then as it goes round, the relevant information and yet again you got the distressed armor with the head sculpt on the body again uh, looking at the code and then finally just a bit more info of the figures in the box and then last but not least of course the back with the usual spiel the why's what's ifs what's and who's and uh, all the warnings uh, about the figure and the company's information so there we have it what an absolutely just great start already just with a box art and the box alone is absolutely awesome so what we'll do we'll take off the front of the box and take a look at the inlay card so here is the inlay card and it is a fantastic action pose of of course the distressed armored boba fett and a very realistic picture of course yet again but the detail on this armor and the figure is just outstanding I cannot wait to get these guys out and get them posed up. So there we go. There's the quick look at the inlay card. So what we'll do now is we will now take out all the accessories for the figures, take a look at them, and then move on to the two figures themselves. So this is section one for the accessories because there are quite a few. So I'll just split it into two little sections. So firstly, we have this packet down here and we have got, of course, two holograms. Then we have, of course, two flame effects for the jetpack. And then across the way, we have the main flame effect for Boba Fett's forearm. And then below, we have another seven hands, including two on the figure. And then finally, the new piece, which is quite interesting, another extra knee pad. And then firing effects for that knee pad, because uh, I've never actually seen that used before. So I'm assuming within the new series, you're going to see that happen. So that's pretty interesting. Great to see something different. And then next we'll move up to this section with the helmet. And this is some great detail in there where it's been smashed by the Tuscan Raider Boba Fett. And the good thing about this helmet is it can actually be fitted to a regular Stormtrooper. So you could do yourself a nice pose with a Stormtrooper being beat uh, by Boba Fett himself with his gaffy stick. So that looks a pretty fantastic bit of kit there. Moving on to the weapons, we do have two of the same guns. Uh, they are pretty awesome. One with each character, but I think I'll use these for the distressed armoured Boba Fett. And then on to the last two weapons, which of course are the Tuscan Raider weapons that Boba Fett uses. Firstly, his rifle. And these are quite huge. As you can see, I'm literally fitting them onto the camera. Getting a close-up, turning it round. They are really, really, really detailed. Not a lot of weathering on this, but it doesn't matter. The paint job is very, very good. And it's definitely a weapon I'll be using in the pose without question. So that is Boba Fett's rifle. And then, of course, the gaffy stick that gets made in episode two. Hopefully uh, that spoiled it for anybody. But this thing is awesome. 
detail on this is absolutely fantastic. Absolutely superb. Very happy with that. So those are his two weapons. And then finally, we have his jetpack. And the detail on this is absolutely outstanding. Some fantastic weathering on this thing. And yet again, it is magnetised, which is very, very good. Now, the special thing about this one, as you can see, it's got no rocketing. Because for the first time ever, they've decided to use it as a firing version. You can either have it standard, sticking it in the top of the jetpack, or you can add this effect that goes in and then you plug the missile on top and it's like a launching effect from the actual um, jetpack, which is pretty awesome. So the, you've got limitless uh, poses with either of the Bob effects. So that's the first section of the accessories. Uh, we'll move on to the little next section of the accessories uh, and then we'll move on to the figures themselves. So here is the next part of the accessories and it's not much, it's just two bases, but for a change, they are not the regular bases. These are two diorama bases, mini diorama. And as you can see, they've got some great detail on them. Uh, both obviously the same terrain, but one's just like a higher rocky scene on there. And that one's a lower one. I'm assuming you can use both of these for any of the figures. But they do come with, of course, one comes with the action flight stand. And then one comes with the standard uh, crutch grabber. But um, as I say, there's limitless possibilities. Uh, it'd be interesting to see how these guys pose up together with these um bases so there we have it for the accessories so it's time for the main event and let's move on to figure number one here's figure number one and this is of course boba fett in his tuscan raider costume and uh this is a pretty impressive figure but let's take a look at the most important part of this figure and that is yet again the head sculpt that is just truly amazing I've never seen a head sculpt with so much detail in it in all my life. It is utterly amazing. Absolutely fantastic uh, likeness of Tamara Morrison. Uncanny. Um, i say Hot Ties have stepped up their game. And if I keep this up with the head sculpts, man, they're just going to blow everybody out of the water. But you can see the detail in the scarring at the back of the head, around the side of the head. This thing is immense. It's absolutely amazing head sculpt it's such a fantastic head sculpt so there's the amazing head sculpt now we'll move back and obviously you can see he's got his uh cloak on now the actual hood of the cloak is actually wired so you can do some posing out of that but i probably won't cover his head because that is just too good of a head sculpt now the only thing i've probably got a bit of a, a gripe about is the actual cloak itself it's not wired at the front not wired at the bottom around the back bottom. It would have been nice to have seen that wired because you could have had a bit more of a dramatic pose for him. But because of that, it's just going to hang free and it's going to hide a lot of what's underneath. So I'm going to just move this to one side. And it's not an amazing amount, but it's still, if you could have had a dramatic pose with this cloak, it would have showed a bit more of his uh, underbody garments. But obviously you can see he's got his uh, leather strap across him and then of course his gun belt with all his singular bullets in there they can come out if you want to take them out but uh, i'll probably advise not to you've got his holster for his gun and then we have this sash now this goes at the front and at the back um it's got two types of material you've got like a soft material at the front and then like a paper effect it's kind of silky behind so that need a bit of foots in just to get that looking pretty tidy uh of course he's got like just a standard black cloth jumper and cloth bottom so he's, he's good for posing there's going to be no issues there and then down to his boots now his boots are all plastic uh but they are very good uh look very nice uh good paint job and of course good detail split cut boot on the ankle so that's quite good so I can uh, do a bit more range of pose in there. But apart from that, nothing um, any different really on the back than the front. The belt just goes round the back. Let me try and lift that up if I can show you. Uh, no, can I? Yep, there you go. So the belt just goes round the back. It's nothing special. 
and you've got like a, a leather uh, strap around there also so overall this figure the head sculpt just steals the show it's an absolutely uh, fantastic head sculpt best i've ever seen but uh, it'd be interesting to get this guy posed up see what i can do with him as i say to shame we couldn't get this cloak wired that would have been a great little uh, effect to give it like a, a more of a dramatic pose but regardless very very happy with this figure absolutely an immense head sculpt so there is figure number one and that is of course boba fett the tuscan raider eight feet variant and we'll now move on to the boba fett in his distressed armor right so here's the distressed armor boba fett and uh, this has got some pretty awesome detailing on this uh, boba fett and definitely one of my favorites at this present time so let's move in take a look at the helmet and just take a look at the detail in that helmet the the wear the scuffs this is seeing some serious action and um i just can't get over the detail it's absolutely amazing how uh, awesome the paint job is on this and the detail in the as i say the wear and the scuffs and the distressed look of the actual helmet itself and you move down to the armour and you can see it's just unreal it, as you can say it needs a paint job uh, this is just before it does that but it's got some serious wear and it's pretty impressive the way they've uh, done the distressed look on this armour such such good detail in it absolutely amazing so let's move down of course and onto his arms his forearms where his armour is also there and you can see as well yet again some fantastic wear and detail and there's a new piping system there uh slightly different than the uh older variants of boba fett uh around to this arm you've got his whistling bird there yet again some fantastic detail wearing the same belt of course now obviously he's got a different white under garment there so he clips his armor onto and then down the same regular baggy pants with yet again the two material sash which goes as you can see now goes completely round the back also on the one side and then down the bottom he's got his one firing um, knee pad but obviously i'm going to change that and put the other one on so i've got the option to put the um, whistling birds shooting out from his knee and then finally down to his obviously his boots again same boots it's only really the helmet and the armor that's uh a different of uh, this uh, variant of Boba Fett. Now, the clever thing about this, if I can take it off, um, this I've never seen before, which is quite clever. This is obviously some sort of new system that I've used. I've never seen this um, head um, swivel system before, which is quite good. But the impressive part of this is the actual helmet itself. If you look inside, it's really, really detailed. Look at that. Now, I've spared no expense on this one, so you could literally put the tomorrow morrison head sculpt on there and then have him holding this helmet uh, and you got some really great detail in there so that is pretty clever but the thing is you can higher or lower this helmet so it, it all depends but the range of motion with this thing um it's a lot a lot improved so it, it can really give his head some dynamic uh poses so i'm really happy with that it's good good little uh peg system for the head so there you go guys there is the second Boba Fett, and that is the distressed armor look. An absolutely awesome character. So let's get these guys suited and booted, teamed up and set up and look fantastic in the collection. And here he is, fully posed up. And uh, this is a pretty decent pose. The gun was a bust. I couldn't really stick it over his shoulder because the strap was very, very tight. Um, and it also even had issues with trying to hang this over his back it just wouldn't sit correctly so i just thought make him hold this and leave the gun out but there he is standing on his base with the smashed up stormtrooper helmet at the bottom which i'm assuming most people probably do that it'd be interesting to see how other people pose their figures but um, very happy with this figure the way it is really really nice as i say I'm so happy with that head sculpt. It's just amazing. Absolutely fantastic. So there he is. That's the Tuscan Raider variant. All posed up and ready for the shelf. 
So let's take a look at variant number two and then get them in the collection. And here is the Boba Fett, the distressed armor version in his flight action pose. I know a lot of people don't like to use the flight poles, but I think they're pretty cool. Um, had an issue, I was going to use his flame in his hand originally, but I just could not get it to fit and stay on. Very awkward. His jetpack, yeah, it may be um, magnetised, but it doesn't really stay on very well, which is a bit of a ball like. But overall, um, I think I've got him in a decentish pose, just about to land, firing his gun and then shooting off his uh, whistling birds. If he's a good pose just for a start, I will futz around with him and get him in a better pose, um, no doubt, in the next couple of weeks because I'll obviously be cleaning all these shelves off again and then giving them a repose but there he is that's the second figure that's the distressed armor Boba Fett uh in his flight action pose absolutely fantastic so let's get him into the collection and then bring this video to a close and so there they are together absolutely looking awesome if I do say so myself Next to the other two, Boba Fett's. And that's starting it off with, of course, the Boba Fett helmet. So there's four Boba Fett's and there's another three to add to the collection. Um, and plus I've got a couple of new figures coming next week. So it's all go. Uh, what a start to the year for a Hot Times collecting. As, uh, as TK421 says, if it starts this well... Uh, this year is going to be amazing for Hot Toys collecting. Honestly, it really is. But very happy with these pair. So there you go, guys. That's the Boba Fett Deluxe Twin Pack. All posed up and entered into the Boba Fett collection. So, another two amazing Boba Fett figures added to the collection. And by far the best two Boba Fetts I've come across. What a start to the year. The Boba Fett Twin Pack, obviously with the Tuscan Raider variant and of course the Distressed Armour. And without question, the best head sculpt I have ever seen on any Hot Toys. Guys, you've just knocked it out of the park with that head sculpt. It's absolutely amazing. A superb Twin Pack. And as I said, what a way to start the year. This year is going to be epic for Hot Toys. It's going to be a lot of expense, but a lot of fun along the way so hopefully you will stick with me and watch this wild ride of me collecting these figures through the year i've got another two coming next week i've got three more boba fets to basically unbox and add to the collection we've also got other side collections that i'm going to be doing this year which i will show you in the near future but hopefully you've enjoyed this uh, video and at another video for the boba fett effect slash added to the Mandalorian series of course so hopefully you enjoyed it uh, please do leave a thumbs up please do leave a comment and remember if you like the content that you see please do subscribe but remember only if you want to I'll see you in the next video